Yes, how you doing? What's Hi. your name? My name is Kayla. Hey, Kayla. Hi. Um, uh, I'm an atheist as well, <laughs> as Warren was. Thank you for coming. Oh, thank you. Um, I don't expect to change anyone's mind, and I certainly don't speak for all atheists, mm -hmm. but there are a lot of atheists who the reason they turn away is because of some of the things that God has done mm -hmm. in the Bible. Mm -hmm. And I'm one of those many people. There's other reasons too, but we don't have that time. Right. One of the reasons that I turned and I'm not that. Even I'm one of those people who wouldn't believe in Christianity even mm -hmm. it's proven to be true. Mm -hmm. I would accept it as true, but I wouldn't follow it myself. Okay. At least you're honest. That's good. Yes. It's, not, it's good to be honest. It's I don't think it's good not to follow the truth, but it's good to be honest. Go yeah. ahead. I mean, I would, I would know that it was true. If it was proven he was real, mm -hmm. which I don't think there's enough evidence to prove that he is, but if he was, I still could have followed him okay. because of things that he said. Okay. One of the biggest things that made me not, but I would never do it, is because of Noah's Ark and because he destroyed an entire planet mm -hmm. full of people, mm -hmm. except this one family. Yeah. Just because they didn't believe in him and they chose not to. Even though he gave us free will to do as we choose or not. Uh -huh. But then he destroys the entire planet. Yes. Because they did. Excellent question. Yes. And I just I mean, there there's no way. Alright, let me let me let me just ask you a couple questions here because I I'm I'm with you on this one. But I, I want to make sure we understand the situation accurately. You said that the reason that God destroyed the world was because they didn't believe in him. Actually, if you read it, the reason he destroyed the world because there was only evil in their hearts continually. They continued to do evil. Right? So here's the question. Is it just if evil acts are punished? Is it just to punish evil acts? What he did? And just in general, is it just to punish evil acts? You mean what he did, destroying the planet? Well, don't go all the way there yet. Let's just stay with is it just in general to punish evil acts? I don't know. I don't know what you're asking. Someone does something wrong. If, if someone murders somebody. Yeah. Oh. Yes, they should. Okay, in general, in general, we agree, right? When, when evil's done, justice must be done. Okay, now. Um, if God is our creator, and he did create people, when God kills them, does he murder them? I believe so. I mean, if he gives us all our own minds and our own choices and our own decisions, and we go and make children and have husbands and wives, and, I mean, he's made us autonomous. I mean, you can't, you can't just go and kill something. That okay, but... Have. But when, let's take it out of Noah's Ark for a second. Let's just say somebody who's 100 years old dies. God pulls, God exists, and he pulls his hand away. Did God murder that person? Oh, you died when you're old. Okay, so, but if God is God, does he have to guarantee everybody 80 healthy years? Well, no, but, I mean, okay. not everybody on the planet is 80 years old. I know. What the, point, the point here is, is, does God have the authority to play God? I know, I mean, if, you, if he made us to be, if he made us purely to be worshippers of him, and that was his whole purpose, then sure, because we're just these things that he's created, but when you create something with free will and everybody has their own thoughts, you can't just kill everyone because now you give people free will and they choose not to believe you. That's not okay. Well, we do that in America. Yes, I that, agree with that, if, that if people do evil things, we punish them. Yes. And if we can do it, can God do it? Is the question. Yeah. Assuming he's real, I suppose. Yes, I'm not, let's, let's assume for the sake of argument he's real. Yeah. Can Can he do something like Noah's Ark if the people truly were doing evil? Can he Can he judge them? Well, yeah, but. They, according to the Bible, they were making idols and great images and things. And I mean, I guess in the same commandments, that's a sin. But 
when we think of that true evil, I'm thinking, you know, we're all going crazy and killing each other and raping each other and, you know, stuff like that. No, I, you know, whatever, but you can't just murder an entire thing. Well, this was before the Ten Commandments, but people already knew right from wrong. And people already knew that what they were doing was wrong. And God gave them a lot of years of warnings, and they still decided not to follow God. Let me ask you one other thing. If there is a God, I'm assuming all this is true, um, is it unjust of God to take people from this life to the next life anytime he wants? For, for any reason at all? For any reason at all, if he's God. Well, I don't know how to answer that thing. Well, because if Christianity is true, people never really die. They just change locations. Right? Correct. Right. God can take you from this life to the afterlife anytime he wants. Nobody's guaranteed 80 health, healthy years. God can take people at 2 or 82. That's up to him. Correct. If he's God. Now, this is going to be unfair. You don't find um, that horrifying in the extreme? What's that? You don't find that horrifying in the extreme, what you just said? That God can take can kill people anytime he wants. He can move them from this life to the next life? Yeah. No, I don't find that horrifying because if he is God, and again, assuming God exists, he is the standard of rightness. He knows the end from the beginning. He doesn't have to guarantee me or anybody else one more second. Then why would you want to believe this? Because I think there's evidence it's true. But why do you want to... Be because if he is good, which is what the evidence shows, he is the standard of goodness, when he takes me out, that's the right time. But I understand why these issues are problematic. But remember, what you're doing is you're bringing a moral standard to the test, and you're saying that your moral standard is somehow higher than the moral standard of God. But if there is no God, there are no objective moral standards. Everything's just a matter of opinion. Not true. Uh, well, I mean, That's not true, sir. Killing, killing it's a not baby. just a matter of opinion. I'm sorry to interrupt, but you said that numerous times. Okay, well, I'm happy to talk to you at the microphone, but... Um, if but God can kill babies with impunity, I could never follow someone. Kayla, let me ask you a question. I don't mean to be unfair, but I want to ask you a question. Are you pro-life or pro-choice? Uh, well, I'm pro-choice. Okay, here's my question, and I don't take this the wrong way. But why is it that when God plays God and chooses who lives and dies, he's immoral, but when we play God and chooses who lives and dies, that's immoral, right? That's right. Yeah. Sometimes that does happen. Well, that happens in places that are not okay, and it's not, it's not a thing that's supposed to happen. So you would be against what we call partial birth abortion? Something like that, yes, because it's, they're viable outside. But the thing is, is, when it's the first three months, most abortions have to happen because there's something Wrong with the child or the mother, like, they could make it extremely dangerous. Okay, if, if, we were to, if we were to allow abortions for those circumstances, but outlaw them for every other circumstance, would you be with me? Well, I don't know. It would have to depend on the circumstance. That's the thing, is there's a gray area. It can't always be black and white. There's a gray area. And sometimes abortions are okay. Sometimes. When are they okay? If, if there's no, if not going to be any, any. If, if the mother's not going to die, why would, why would killing the baby be beneficial? If it was a product of rape, it would be beneficial. 
Well, yeah, we could go down that road. Let's leave rape out of it for a second because we can go. Okay, but let's just say a, a healthy baby, no problems. The woman just doesn't want it. Should she be able to avoid it? Well, no, but most that's like less than 1%. Mm. Kayla, it's about 93% of the abortions out there are convenience abortions. They're not rape, incest, health of the mother, life of the mother. They're convenience abortions. 93% of abortions are yes. at that term? Yes. No, 93% of abortions are not due to health of the mother, life of the mother, rape or incest. Or birth incest. Oh, that's different. Okay. Yeah. They're just because the lady doesn't want the baby. That's the reason. But I appreciate you coming and interacting. If I give you a book, would you read it? Okay. Can you hang out after this? Because I don't have any books here. They're out. But Chris is going to go get one. I just want to give you a roll because you're, you're a trooper for standing here and talking about this. <laughs>